Hey, y'all. Welcome to The Pace Studio in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Ellen. I'm Lizzie. And today we are going to talk about an album I'm sure a lot of you have been really excited about for a long time. I know we have. It is the sophomore LP from Soccer Mommy. That is the band from Nashville, Tennessee, fronted by Sophie Allison. Um, Soccer Mommy kind of works as like a moniker for her for her name. It's her project. But on this album, we're hearing a lot more of a fuller band sound. So, Lizzie, what did you think of the record? Yeah, so I think this is one of the best surprises of the year so far. Like this uh-huh. is maybe, I mean, this is probably, if not my favorite album of the year, yeah. like so far. Yeah. It's, it's early like folks, top, but we're already, you know, we're thinking about it all the three, time. three, I feel yeah. like. At I think least, it is for me too. At least. Yeah. Um, but uh, I was really pleasantly surprised to hear how rich of an album this is in comparison to her debut. I mean, I still think dynamic. her debut, Clean, is great. Um, but I think this album is a lot like the guitars are a lot thicker on this album. There's like some, I think the riffs are more interesting. The tones are more interesting. Yeah, a lot There's of like 90s tones, you know. Dissonance happening. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that from her. And I think yeah. her her debut was like fairly minimal in terms of instrumentation. Yeah. Um, but um, I, honestly, I think. I mean, I think you'll disagree with me here, but I think, <laughs> I think this these are her best songs. I think, yeah. I think like honestly, all of my favorite soccer mommy songs are on this album. I gotta disagree with you there. Um, <laughs> which, clean, fair, clean, which um, was on our list of the best albums of 2018, the year it came out, and also on the best albums of the decade. I want to say pretty high up there. It's fairly high. I gotta agree with that placement. Clean was one of my favorite albums from that year. It's still one of my favorite albums, and I really just enjoyed the minimal, the minimalist uh, attitude that Sophie Allison has on that record. It's just very confessional, straightforward uh, singer-songwriter stuff over a guitar um and i mean this album definitely is more dynamic it's more layered and it does have some of her best songs on there but i mean the songwriting on clean was just <laughs> out of this world you guys hey, i just don't no, think it compares no shade to clean but yeah. i think um i mean she she talks about this too about clean kind of being a lot of her like interactions in relationships and mm-hmm. then this um color theory being a little bit more sort of I think darker and like from her own perspective it's less her sort of outside of herself it's literally yeah all of it's from her perspective and she kind of talks about the the inspiration for having the sort of three colors she kind of talked about right blue gray and yellow I believe are the colors so blue is depression Uh uh-huh Yellow was illness, and then gray was sort of emptiness and yeah. loss. Yeah, so and not cheerful colors there. It's <laughs> so it's a it's a pretty dark record. It once is you, dark. You dive into it, and it's I guess I I don't know I kind of appreciate it that maybe it's a little bit more uh, sort of varied in lyrical themes this time around. Yeah, um, one of the songs more, I don't know. I think yeah. it also just um, I guess sonically just more detailed as well it just feels like there's is maybe more of a deliberate sort of intentional record yeah there's a lot more going on on this record um she mentions in an interview uh that we have posted on the site at pacemagazine.com that uh that the band got a lot more involved on this album there's mm-hmm. a lot more different sounds happening um everyone kind of pitched in their own ideas and takes a little bit more and you can definitely hear that it's a lot bigger sounding uh mm-hmm. record and like you said a lot of it is very introspective dark stuff like the song circle the drain was one of the uh singles ahead of this release yeah. and i gotta say that is one of my my favorite soccer it's, mommy songs I've ever heard. The riff on that song is incredible. It'll be stuck in your head forever. And I think too, like the the sort of centerpiece of the record for me, maybe I don't even know what my favorite song is on this record, but the sort of seven minute um, yellow is the color of her yeah, eyes. The epic. I think that is, I think that is like an unbelievable sort of statement that sort of sits in the middle of the yeah. record. And I don't know, this to me is everything... I was hoping this record to be yeah. it's just like all that and more. Like it I, really I is. didn't I don't want I was not a skeptic, I don't want to say, but it definitely kind of blew me in a way in you know, I yeah. just was not expecting it to be this fantastic. I think we were kind of coming at it from opposite yeah. places almost. Because I'm like <laughs> expecting like another album similar to Clean, and this is not it, but it, it pleasantly surprised me in all mm-hmm. the best ways. And objectively, it's just good good rock music that I think you guys are all going to really like. So again, we have an interview uh, with Sophie Allison posted on the website. So check that out and make sure to listen to Sophie uh, Allison's new album, Color Theory.